I am Shane Durham. This is Chip Thompson. Let's go down to the beach for the 2007 Beach Bocce Ball League Finals. That's right, everybody. It's early September, the greatest time of the year. You survived media day. You survived the bocce parties. But now it's time to get down to what you came here for, and that's the games. 11 weeks of regular season action brings us to the finals. But before we go down to the beach, let's check out how the games played. Served, but they smell like toilet water and they taste like toilet chicken. I'm not quite sure what that means. Chip Thompson, you should. You're a 24-year bocce pro. You've got 10 championship boots. You're the best there is. That's true, Shane. But today's not about me. It's about the 102 teams that came into this tournament. And for my money, the two teams to watch were El Puno Del Mar and Team America. <laughs> yeah. Of course you do, Chip. They're the number one and number two ranked teams coming into the tournament. What can I say, folks? I like good bocce, and El Puno Del Mar had it going on all season long. Well, I think I hear the 2007 Bocce Beach bandwagon coming around. Chip Thompson standing at the front of the line with his ticket. Oh, let me on. <laughs> You'll get on. But I, on the other hand, spent a little time down on the beach. Early in the action, I met up with El Puno Del Mar. We're standing with the number two ranked team going into the tournament, El Puno Del Mar. That's right. Right. El Puño Del Mar, the fist of the sea. The fists of the sea. What's the strategy today, boys? Strategy is to stay firm, strong, and focused through the marathon. What is the difference between a lengthy sex session and today's tournament? No difference, quite frankly. Talk about some smooth dudes with Lou. Well, I don't know about that, but these cats can roll. I've been watching them close since they came into week eight undefeated, fisting opponent after opponent all season long. Or eat, or eat, or eat. How did that translate in the tournament? A second round overtime game with the passive aggressives. I want to watch you some bocce! This game started 12-11. Passive aggressives put the game winning point in the sand. Two balls left for the fifths, looking to extend the overtime. Tell me what this is like, Chip. Well, it's a stressful moment. You never want to play from behind. It's always hard to score, but never harder than when you have to. Here comes the last toss. as El Puno Del Mar goes through more pain than a pledge on initiation night. You said it, Shane. That's real tough to take. You pick with your mind, you lose. I pick with my heart. And no team had a bigger impact on my heart than PFS. I caught up with them down on the beach. Here's what they had to say after their early loss. What they lack in skill, they make up for in fashion. PFS, what happened today? Well, <laughs> we were very close. Yeah, we, we were totally winning. <laughs> it was but 11 then, to 4. Yeah. We didn't go down without any points. Yeah, exactly. They were close games. Yep. And but we um, lose with grace. Exactly. <laughs> we rocked the style. We tried our best. You definitely get this crew's vote for the best dress out here. How's that feel? Uh, feels pretty good. I think we're kind of a shoe in because we're the only team that started dressing up at the beginning. <laughs> Ah, sorry to see them sent home early, but they did capture the coveted best dress award. Chip, I look at teams you like and I don't even think they really coordinate that well. Don't get me wrong, Shane. I like them too. They're smart, beautiful, and they can botch you their butts off. But Team America, they're the team to beat. I've been impressed with these rookies all season long, and today, everyone got to feel their shock and awe. So you talking to them earlier. I guess I should care what you think. Team America, the number one ranked team coming in the tournament. Gentlemen, how does it feel? Oh, fantastic. It's been 11 weeks in the, in the making, and it all goes down today. Do you guys feel like you're uh, on your way peaking or you peaked earlier and you've been a little uh, lately or what's the mood of the team? Well, it's definitely mission accomplished for us. It's been, uh, we came in here thinking we're rookies this year, so it's been a new thing and, you know, the tournament's just about having fun, so that's where we are now. Getting people's respect, more important than the championship. Team America.
Fuck yeah. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Smells like delusion, tastes like toilet, foo young. Once again, no idea what you're talking about. But these guys are outstanding. Strong, fast, and deadly. I've seen a lot of rookie teams step up, but these guys had the toughest schedule all season long, and that experience paid off in today's tournament. Let's watch them play. All right, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Perfect form, perfect form. That's right, that's right. Stretch it out. You gotta stay limber when you're out here all day. Whoa! Okay, you're looking at full frontal mustache here, about to take a couple of tosses. I'm looking at someone who switched the channel and put on Serpico the series. Take the money! Take the money! All right, all right, all right. Let's just watch him play. They have a real unorthodox style. You see the preparation before he even throws? It's like watching Nomar Garcia para hit. There's a lot of activity. Let's just hope it's not all wasted motion. I gotta say, I'd rather see more of Team America right now, or at least that guy in the background with the parachute and the surfboard.